Well to hear, I'm in uh, Vietnam and I'm here with the big boss of WinFast, the CEO, Mr. Chow. We'll ask him some questions. We'll ask him uh, how the launch has been of the VF6 and the 7. And of course, the plans that they have because they're planning to launch a new car every six months. That's the plan. And they also have a lot of other plans because India is a big market and WinFast and the Win Group in uh, large is really committed to the Indian cause. So first of all, sir, thank you so much for inviting us over here and thank you for your time. My first question is, how is uh, your response, the response you've got for the two car launches been oh, so far? The response is fantastic. Um, we have a lot of uh, booking okay. and um, we are very happy and we try to step up, uh, speed up our production mm -hmm. in order to uh, satisfy uh, the demand of the customers and to boost up the deliveries of the car. Okay. Uh, you also mentioned that you're planning to launch a new vehicle every six months. Yes. Just give us a brief about that. Uh, what are the plans for the next six months and maybe for the entire 2026 calendar? Yes. Uh, in the next uh, three two months, we are going to launch the third model, okay. which is Limo Green, mm -hmm. uh, seven-seater, mm -hmm. which is very hot now in Vietnam and mm -hmm. also is very hot in Indonesia. And after that, six months after that, we are going to launch another car. So basically, uh, we try to launch every six months. Okay. One model, and uh, first we launch a high premium car, and slowly, slowly we bring down. Uh, I mean, we, we are launching the uh, low segments, the more affordable cars. Correct. Now talking about more affordable cars, there's mm -hmm. a lot of interest uh, because you showcased at the Auto Expo in, uh, last year mm -hmm. the VF3. Yes. What is your internal study on that car? I, is there any plan to launch that as well in the Indian market? Oh, oh yes, we, we originally we planned to launch it earlier, mm -hmm. but uh, since uh, we want to position ourselves firmly mm -hmm. as a premium car maker, okay. Okay. and once the, that uh, trust and um, recognition is established, we are going to move to a lower segment. Because I've seen that car on the road over here in Vietnam and it looks very good. Yes. It's got good presence and I think for the city, I think for just uh, traveling within the city, it's a very... Correct good product for the Indian market as well. Yes, we call it an uh, urban car. Urban car, yes. correct. Now, we've also visited your factory yesterday. We've seen uh, the plant. You're also into buses, EV buses, and also yes. into two-wheelers. Just give us a brief about uh, what kind of two-wheelers you're planning to launch towards the end of 26 or maybe 27. Yes, uh, no, in 2026, we are going to launch uh, two-wheelers okay. and e-buses. Okay. And uh, it's uh, in uh, the um, final stage of preparation. Of course, for the two-wheelers, we need to collect more data in order to make sure that that will be a successful launch. Okay. And for e-buses, I'm in contact with various uh, state government in order to uh, get a better understanding of their requirement. Mm -hmm. And then we will do the need for to proceed. Okay. Now talking about the state government, you've always said that, you know, all the states you visited and all the governments you've spoken to have been very supportive. Uh, just tell us about some of the big challenges you faced in India as a market and also some of the big opportunities that you see ahead. I see India as a land of opportunity. I don't see any challenges. Of course, uh, everywhere we have challenges, but these challenges are very, very small as compared to the huge potential. Okay, okay. So you have a lot of opportunities there. Yes, it's a, a lot of opportunity because we are we are going to bring in the whole ecosystem. Huh? Okay. Not only for wind fast or uh, wind mobility, but also for wind home, wind school, wind wind more. Um, win make, okay. win indigo, something like that. So the entire group will be there in India. Oh well. yes, uh, uh, the whole entire group is, which has been very successful in Vietnam, we want to repl uh, replica, replicate in India. Okay, and my final question will be: a lot of people have been asking, after the limo, after the seven seater, what is the next car you're planning? Oh, uh, I will answer you uh, early next year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chow, for your time. Thank you. And all the best to you for your new operations. Thank, Thank you. you very much for your support.